All right, welcome back, my dear student. So it's time for us to try out the models, all right? So now we said that the models communicate with the database, but we don't even have a database. We don't even have a table, right? So we need to create that. So let's go to our PHP my admin, all right? So let's go ahead and say, you know what? Not called igniter, but localhost. And then PHP my admin. All right. So let's go to localhost and then PHP my admin. Let's create a database for this. All right. So let's say databases. And what are we going to be actually naming this database? Let's call it errands, errand underscore DB. All right. All right. And errands is just like. Um, like a to do thing, like a to do list type of thing. We got errands to do, right? So let's create errand underscore db. Create. All right. Now let's go and choose that database from the left side here and create a table. Let's call this table users. And let's just have a couple columns there and click go. And this is just to test, okay? All right. So we're going to have to create an ID, of course, with an integer type, type of integer. And 11 characters over here. Let's also do auto increment and index primary. And then let's do username and let's do password. There we go. Let's make sure that the username type is VACAR, VARCHAR, whatever you want to call it. And let's just say 255. And the password, let's make it the same. And let's just click save over here all the way in the bottom here save perfect all right now let's ins insert some data into it let's I'm not gonna insert anything for ID because it does all is going to auto increment of course let's just create a user in his uh, password is one two three how about that go perfect all right so now that we have some something to to use let's create the model real quick so let's go to the U, to the model. Let me just take all this out out of here. Let me just take all this out. Let's go to our models. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new model. It's going to be called user underscore model dot PHP. There we go. Then open some PHP tags. And we are going to be creating our first custom model, right? So it's going to be class. And then it's going to be called user with an upper case U. User model. I'm just going to say all lowercase after it. And then extends. What What do you think is going to extend? CI what? Model. If you said it, you are correct. Very good. All right, perfect. So now we have created a model class structure right here in the first model. We need to actually put some functionality into it so that way we can communicate with the database. On the next lecture, I'm going to show you some of the most popular uh, syntax examples here to communicate with our database. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. On the next lecture, we're going to keep having some more fun. So keep active, keep practicing, keep coding. See you in the next lecture.